How to increase uterine lining. A healthy uterine lining, or endometrium, helps women have regular periods and get pregnant. If you have a thin uterine lining, you might be experiencing trouble getting pregnant. Fortunately, a thin endometrium can be treated with some lifestyle modifications, and you can work with your doctor to thicken the endometrium with medical methods. Stay positive. Many women are able to increase their uterine lining and improve their chance of pregnancy. Using natural methods. Exercise daily. Exercising increases the blood flow throughout your body, and that includes blood flow to your uterus. If you have a job that requires you to sit still a lot, try to get up and move around for two minutes out of every hour. Get at least seven hours of sleep each night. Stay well rested to keep your hormone levels stable, estrogen and other hormones balance out while you sleep. Set a specific time to go to bed and wake up each day. Try to go to bed around 10 to 11 p.m. Avoid napping during the day. Save your bedroom for sleep, don't watch TV in bed, for instance. Have a relaxing nighttime routine, like taking a warm bath or giving yourself a hand massage. Sleep in a cool, dark room. Distress. Stress and the chemicals it releases can affect your body negatively, including your hormone balance. Manage your stress by taking time each day to relax. Try yoga, meditation, a creative project like writing or painting, use essential oils greater than aromatherapy, or anything else that relaxes you. If you have a stressful home or work life, try to practice mindfulness. Take herbal supplements. Though these are not scientifically proven to increase uterine thickness, taking certain herbs may help increase your circulation and thus improve blood flow to your uterus, or may amp up your body's estrogen supply. Many supplements can be found at your pharmacy, health food store, or online, but be sure to buy from a reputable seller. Check with your doctor or pharmacist before starting an herbal supplement, they're natural, but they can still interact with other medications or medical conditions. Consider the following to boost or balance estrogen levels, or increase circulation. Wild yam. Black cohosh. Dong ki. Licorice. Red clover. 5. Red raspberry leaf tea. Avoid practices that decrease blood flow. Just as you can try practices to increase your blood flow, you should avoid doing anything that minimizes your blood flow. Some of the most common practices that decrease blood flow are smoking, quit smoking. It's hazardous to your health and decreases blood flow. Drinking caffeine, aim to minimize your caffeine to one cup per day. Cut back caffeine gradually to avoid withdrawal effects. Taking decongestants, allergy and sinus medications that contain phenylephrine or other vasoconstrictors narrow blood vessels, so try to use other products without this ingredient. 